we want to explore an idea of how we can uh, obtain other graphs based on a similar graph. And a lot of these happen through transformations. And one of the first ones we're going to look at is how uh, we can look at a graph and vertically shift the entire graph or vertically decrease the entire graph. And so it's through this idea of vertical shifts. So imagine I have some function f of x. Now if that entire function increases, I'm increasing every point by a common amount. So I'm increasing it by a constant. So a transformation through a vertical shift is by taking the function then adding a constant to it. Or if I'm lowering that function, I'm subtracting a constant from them. So let's take for example um, a function the absolute value function. And I want to look at, well, what does a shift look like with that function? g of x. So let's go ahead and graph f of x. It's one of the foundational uh, functions that we have. So we have some points on there. For example, we know the point 2 and 2 would be on it. Uh, the point negative three, or sorry, positive 3 and negative 3 are on it. We know it's an even function uh, because it's symmetrical about the y-axis. So if that's f of x, what's the g of x look like? Well, g of x is shifting every point down four units. So that point gets shifted down. This point, which was at 2, gets shifted down to there, and likewise. So we would have a graph that looks similar to that. And this graph would be our g of x. So through transformations, we can vertically shift a function up or down, and we do that by looking at our function, and is there anything added to that, any constant? 